Nuestra invitada del día de hoy en el programa es Betsy Borantoni, quien tiene una licencia profesional en la práctica de medicina holística o la terapia alternativa o complementaria para sanar al ser humano tanto física como psíquicamente. El día de hoy ella nos hablará sobre la iridología. Veamos la entrevista. Amigos de Hispani Ru, nos encontramos en estos momentos con Betsy Borantoni, She's a specialist in iridology, reflexology, herbology, nutritional counseling, wisdom development, deep tissue massage therapy, reiki, and therapeutic uh, touch. Welcome to our show. I'm very happy to be here. Could you tell me, please, for the people who don't know, uh, for our audience, uh, what is uh, iridology? Iridology is a study of the eye. We study the material, the pupil, the white of the eyes, and the color. And the idea is that if the material in the eye looks like silk, then it means the body has, the person has a strong genetic structure. So they can overcome illnesses fast and they can also stand up to a virus. Yeah. Could you explain the, the science behind that, please? From the brain to the nervous system, it goes to every single tissue gland, organ in the body, and it transmits the information back to the iris. Yeah. And respect uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, emotions. Well, the emotional you can see the physical, or the emotional in the body. We look at something called stress rings, uh, the adrenals, the thyroid. There's certain indications in the eye or markings that show to an iridologist what they represent. Definitely, there are markings in the eye that you can tell physical or emotional, which would be part of the nervous system. Uh, could you tell us uh, how do you get involved from in iridology? Yes, I would love to. Um, my first son, Anthony, was born with severe, um, severe asthma. And the doctors, thank God, with many, many hospitalizations and many, many drugs, Anthony was able to overcome asthma, but very short while, within a few years, he developed a ferocious eczema. By the time he was in his early teens, he was facing an amputation. He was like, like a leopard all over his body. If he wiped his face, by the time he wiped it, he had to wipe it again because he had passed and he smelled. And so I believe there is a divine organizer, my teacher calls him, and his name is God. And through prayer and tears and complete this desperation, I was led to an iridologist. Yeah. And from there, she did help Anthony. Yeah. And the herbs she gave him was Nature of Sunshine products. Mm. It inspired me to do more. Mm. And then I ended up, I, after, then, sorry, then I took my young son there also, who was born with. Yeah, what I, I understand is James, no? Yes. James was my second child. Mm. And he was born with the esophagus, which is your food pipe, attached to the, to the chest, mm. narrowing in the trachea. The esophagus was not attached to the stomach. Mm. And bladder and the bowel were attached and no rectal opening. So from these two kids and the herbs and my burning desire, once they start to get better, especially Anthony with his feet, I was inspired to open a clinic and try to help other people. And so the best in North America is Dr. Bernard Jensen. Yeah. What I understand, uh, Dr. Bernard Jensen, who died in 2001, he was the, the founder a make international very well known iridology because before people they didn't know about it, no? Yes and no. At the, at the, it's, it, iridology goes way back. Yes, but yes, let's yes. just go to, in Budapest, there was an 11-year-old child and he found an owl mm -hmm. and he noticed at 6 o'clock on his eye mm -hmm. there was a hole. And as the owl got better, mm -hmm. that hole left with zigzags, which are healing lines. Yeah. So then he later became a medical doctor. Oh. And he did the first, that was in the 1800s. So, and then he did the first chart. Yeah. And so the eye is the map of the body. Mm. Exactly, and it's, it's a clock and it's the map of the body. The right eye is connected to the rights of the body and it is inherited over four generations by the father. The left eye is connected to the left side of the body, and it's inherited four generations of the mother. In fact, there was a time when Dr. Bernard Jensen was called in the hospital years ago, of course, maybe 40 years ago, and they asked him, can you please help us? Because there was a mixture with the mother's babies. They, there was no genetics 
uh, testing then and all that. So he said, Madam, here's your baby, here's your baby. He did it according to the genetics and the eye. So I, I make a very, uh, a very a statement. Iridology is simple, but precise. Yeah. What I understand with your company, you have almost 33 years uh, practicing this kind of a science. Um, with your experience, what do you saw most of the time in the problems in the eyes? That's a very good question. I will tell you what I see, but I want to backtrack just a little. Yeah. Dr. Bernard Jensen would tell us in his classes, life or death begins in the colon. Because you see, the colon is almost like a caterpillar. It goes up, across the belly button, and then down the left side. Well, that looks similar like to caterpillar, has little, little bumps, little, like a caterpillar. And each one of those is directly connected to a part of the body. So, it, so thank you for asking me. So I found the bowel is almost always the most toxic. Yeah. From there, the blood is gonna carry the toxicity to every single cell in the body. Mm -hmm. So once we take care of the bowel, very, co very common would be adrenals or thyroid. Yeah. Because most of us, it doesn't matter that we have, you know, very balanced life, uh, you know, married, kids, uh, money, career, or even less than that. It's at a time where there's a lot of stress, so we su suppress a lot. So then the thyroid, which is like a butterfly, mm -hmm. will get affected. Mm -hmm. And quite often, doctors will call it an underactive thyroid. Oh, yeah. And then the adrenals, it's the stress mm -hmm. gland, where we overwork, overworry, uh, try to you know, keep our family together, our, our, our relationships. So adrenals, thyroid, nervous system, but the key, the root, is always the colon. Yeah. I, I assume that you uh, belong to an organization here in Canada. Could you tell to our audience, please, what is the name of this organization that giving ethics and standard for all these practitioners? Uh, well, I am with the Reiki Association. Yeah. There's many associations. We oh. used to have our own iridology association. Yeah. So the Reiki Association, um, they just want to make, they, they want to make sure, like I have, I'm also a licensed practitioner. Oh, yeah. So I'm not sure if you know that. Yeah. And um, so... Being licensed, it, it allows me a lot more flexibility. Yeah. So in our office, we do an array things yeah. of different therapies. Yeah. And um, of course, if anybody in our work had a client that said, I got sick mm. with the herb or really any kind of, nobody's protected mm. unless they have MD, medical doctor. But then for me, there's a divine organizer, yeah. and I, I love what I do, I do what I love. And my clientele, I'd say 70 to 75% yeah. of our clients even today are blessed to us by some client from before. Mm -hmm. So we've never had a problem, mm -hmm. but I do not diagnose or prescribe. I analyze. Yeah. And then when it comes to giving, let's say, herbs for the, the eliminative system, I say the bowel, but the right wording is, I will say the eliminative system needs support. These herbs are historically speaking, da da da, will help that. Or mm -hmm. your respiratory system mm -hmm. needs support. Yeah. And so I, I do my best, and I, we don't name diseases like asthma, eczema, um, you know, um, diabetes. So I might look at the, the pancreas, for example, mm -hmm. and see a weakness, yeah. or the adrenals, and I will say, have you been diagnosed yeah. with diabetes? Yeah. Have you been diagnosed with low blood sugar? Yeah. Okay, we'll go now to our cut for commercial, and in our next uh, segment, we will talk about how is a, a complete session with uh, one patient. Okay? That's a very, very good idea. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 